The day started out well, 32 degrees and overcast. Recall I had collected a nice stump, intending to use the top half for a large coffee table. Now this isn't the biggest log I've cut. That one I'm saving for a different video. I just needed to saw it in half. It shouldn't have been more than a brisk workout. This was a perfect time to use my GoPro and slow-mo video to get the saw's perspective. I'm amazed at how incredibly efficient the cutters and rakers are in removing wood. But sometimes things go wrong. The blade started to bind. No problem, I thought. I'd just grab a few more saws, correct the line, and I'd be back at it. But it was not meant to be. So I started to chase the cut around the stump. Around and around and around we go. I am starting to get tired. Mouth is frozen too. Day two is looking better. 22 degrees and sunshine. But sometimes things get worse. Well, I guess this is going to be my tabletop now. Stop right there. I showed this to my wife and she said, You should have left that. It would have been just like the other coffee table that you made. No. That piece is coming off. <sighs> that is the worst cut I have ever done. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple pictures now. My mouth is a little frozen, so I can't talk so well. I was looking to capture exactly how I was feeling at this very moment. There we go, that's the one. Sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes things get worse. But if you love what you're doing, most of the time, they work out. Look at the spalting. Beautiful. The spalting looks like a map of Southeast Asia. At some point in the future, this will be an amazing coffee table. So please subscribe to me on YouTube, and you can follow the progress of my projects on Instagram, at Chop with Chris. Oh, and lastly, I'm using Watco Danish oil to treat the surface of the wood to prevent cracking as it dries out over the winter. I'm not using anchor seal, because once I put it in the end grain, I never get it out. Unless, of course, I built a huge foot-powered bandsaw. Hmm.